Welcome to another 3D modeling video. This video's topic is mainly my experience in 3D animating. So let's get started. But first, the intro. I've been working on improving in 3D animating, and with what I know of so far, I must say that I have a better appreciation for 3D cartoons because now I kind of get the idea of how these shows are made. But 2D cartoons are also appreciated. Whether it's 2D or 3D, a lot of hard work is put into animating to make really good cartoons. With the animations I've put together so far, 3D animating is sort of easy, sort of hard. Let me tell you one word. Keyframes. The best way I can describe keyframes is that they're these little dots that appear in a lineup showing you when something will happen. In other words, they let you know when a character or an object is about to move. It's actually very easy to move characters, but you have to make keyframes for everything. If you want a character to move, you have to make a keyframe for that, and you, have to have make ta and you even have to make keyframes for every part of their body. Now this sounds hard and challenging, but it's actually very easy. Thanks to location rotation. You could just set the character the way you want them to be, set the location rotation, and that's it. If only I knew how to animate multiple characters at once, because that's like a lot of work. Speaking of keyframes, whenever I use Brighton for any of my 3D projects, and we all know he's one of the characters I use a lot of, for some reason he has a set of keyframes already, and you know what happens? If I render a picture with those keyframes in it, then Brighton gets reset to the original position he was in. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out why this kept happening until I figured out it was those keyframes. So now, every time I use Brighton in something, I always remember to move those keyframes. Every. Single. Time. So yeah. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is making very simple animations. One thing I decided to do was to recreate some of the animations that Brighton and Twilight have in Mario Party 6. For starters, I decided to do these animations, because those seem pretty simple. Right? Well, it was a little challenging, but I did my best. Here are the original animations. And here's what I did. That's actually really cool. Next, I wanted to try something a little different. Well, I don't know if I would say different, but... Have you seen how Brighton and Twyla clap in Mario Party 6? Look at that. They clap kind of lifelessly. Have you ever seen anyone clap like that? So I wanted to try making new clapping animations for them. Honestly, this was the easiest thing to animate. I just used the same three frames over and over again. Now look at them. I don't know why it goes slow and then fast, but I'm still learning the basics of 3D modeling slash animating. However, I eventually learned something that I guess changes the speed of movement in animations. I don't know what it's called, but it's this thing full of lines. It looks very complicated. But like everything in 3D modeling, I'm sure it's easier than it looks. I just don't want to deal with it right now. I tried to do some dancing animations like what you see in Animal Crossing, but I can officially say I'm not a fan of like dancing animations because it's really hard. So yeah. Also, I have 3D models of like different locations like Peach's Castle, Delfino Plaza, Comet Observatory. I also want Clockwork Castle, but I couldn't find it. But I don't use big locations anymore because the last time that happened... Yeah. So now I do more simple backgrounds. I just wanted to let you all know that. But I discovered something very cool that I can do. What if I was to tell you that I can take Brighton and Twilight to the real world? Yep, that's right. I've learned green screening. I have many more possibilities of what I can do. I can even make those crazy Shrek videos that I've seen. But I won't. I am definitely using Brighton and Twyla for this. I just need to think of some ideas. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I've done with 3D animating. Like I said, it's sort of easy, sort of hard, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. So I'm going to work hard on improving my 3D animating skills. I won't give up. You should never give up on something, even if it seems very hard. Just keep trying and you'll get better. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, go have some fun, and be safe online. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching, now go have some fun.